Hi, I'm Dr. Vadim Gelman, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So today we're going to talk about different types of gynecologic cancers. The most common gynecologic cancers are breast cancer, cervical cancer, uterine and ovarian cancer, as well as other cancers that are not specific to women, such as colon, lung cancer, or other skin cancers. There are certain signs that make somebody worry about the possibility of cancer. For breast cancer, you may find a lump or some sort of discharge from the breast or sometimes pain. And this is concerning. You should definitely talk to your doctor about that. For uterine cancer, the most common presentation is irregular bleeding. That is usually more common in older women because uterine cancer tends to be in older women. Unfortunately, ovarian cervical cancers really don't have typical symptoms until the cancer is pretty well established. So it's very important to get tested and screened and examined by a physician on a regular basis to catch some of these things early. The screening test for breast cancer is an exam as well as a mammogram. The screening test for cervical cancer involves an exam and a regular pap smear. What a pap smear tests for is early stages of precancerous cells. This is not cancer, these are cells that can eventually become cancer. Almost all cervical cancer goes through these stages first. So if you have a regular pap smear, you will almost always catch it in these precancerous stages. So if a woman has a regular pap smear, she will generally decrease her risk of cervical cancer to almost zero. Everybody's risk factors are different. Depending on your risk factors, you may need more frequent screening or different testing. Here at East Jefferson General Hospital, we have a number of different physicians and we'll be happy to see you.